Are you concerned about how much sugar your child is eating? How much is too much? Do you ever notice your kid acting especially hyper after consuming a lot of sugar? We've all had that nightmare where you're trying to enjoy a perfectly good afternoon and your kids just can't sit still. But are you absolutely convinced that sugar is causing this hyperactivity in your kid? Well parents, this video is for you and after many years of believing this myth, the truth may surprise you. Here we have Adam and Ben, two identical twins who are the same in every regard, except for one tiny detail. They have different lunches. After a morning of classes and activities, both Adam and Ben get ready for lunch. Ben's lunch consists of cotton candy. Adam, on the other hand, has greens for lunch. Both of these boys finish their lunch and continue on their day playing at the park during their recess. Now, you might think that Ben would be much more hyper because his lunch consisted of a lot of sugar than Adam's. However, this isn't actually the case. As you can see, they have the same energy levels. But this is just Adam and Ben. Is this the same for all children? You might be asking, will my children react the same way? In a paper published by Walrich et al, data from 16 different double-blinded studies, each looking at the effects of sugar on the behavior and cognition of children, were pulled and analyzed. A double-blind study is one in which neither the participants or the experimenters know who is receiving a particular treatment. In the case of these experiments, no one knew which kid was receiving sugar and which kid was not. All of these 16 studies came to the exact same conclusion. Sugar does not affect the behavior or cognitive performance of children. We as parents all swear that sugar causes hyperactivity. We see our kids running or jumping around after eating sugar. So why do the results from all of these controlled research study not match up to what we as parents still believe? Well, there are a couple of reasons this is the case. These include taste, reward, environment, and expectancy bias. One possible reason is based on the results obtained from a number of studies, stating that almost all kids really like the taste of sugar. And so, giving them sugar often puts them in a better mood, making them act more excited or happy. Another reason why parents often still associate sugar with hyperactivity is because sugar is often given as a type of reward for good behavior, meaning that a child's excitement isn't actually due to the sugar, but it is an indirect effect of being rewarded. Similarly, sugar is often present at positive social settings such as cake at birthday parties. Therefore, the hyper behavior your child exhibits isn't due to sugar, but due to being in a fun environment. And lastly, the final reason may be that parents simply expect their child to behave more hyper after consuming lots of sugar. So that's the behavior that they notice happening. It's safe to say that this myth is put to rest and sugar won't make you hyper. Now, this doesn't mean that you should listen to your kid and let them eat all the sugar they want. Children will naturally pick sweets over vegetables. Ben's lunch was far from ideal. Although sugar causing hyperactivity is a myth, the fact that it is not healthy isn't. Too much sugar can cause some serious problems in young children. Sugar can destroy your child's long-term health. Too much sugar can cause tooth decay, various skin conditions, increased risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, as well as putting them at greater risk of high blood pressure, and overall leading to the development of poor eating habits. So stop blaming sugar for your kids being loud and hyper or giving you headaches. Your kids are just being kids. It is important to take note that you still need to limit the amount of sugar that your kids eat and to encourage them to stay active every day. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video to be informative. For more videos like this, please visit the Demystifying Medicine website.